Hello everybody and welcome back to the Hardcore Iron Man YouTube luck. We have a Slayer Helmet and some Nightmare Zone points. Let's throw them together to finally imbue our Slayer Helmet so it actually works with ranged and magic. It's been way too long. I'm already 78 Slayer and I didn't even have this thing imbued yet. So now when we're doing our bursting tasks, we're going to deal a lot more damage. Pretty excited for that. Not looking forward to coming back to Nightmare Zone to imbue everything else though. I really don't like this place. Okay, Hespori kill count 24. We're getting out there with the big boy numbers, and we got something good coming this kill. Even if the loot is garbage. 84 farming. Oh my god, after like 4,000 hours of doing these jungles, we got the gout tuber. Oh my god, let's eat it. Let's eat it. Oh my god, you have no idea how relieved I am that I got this stupid gout tuber. Okay. So, I think I just talked to him, ask him what he does here. Yes, I'd like to have a machete. Give me the jade machete, my friend. Order it. And uh, there we go. We have the jade machete and all of the easy, medium, and hard tasks in Karamja. I am so unbelievably happy right now. Let's go get our reward. All right, Jackie, hand it over, baby. I would like to get my Achievement Diary rewards. I've done all the easy tasks, I have done all the medium tasks, and I have done all of the hard tasks. Mm. Give me those lamps, give me those gloves. That is some hot stuff. Also, I know in the last part I said I was going to start putting all of my lamps into prayer. I'm already taking it back. I'm starting to put them in Herblore again. Get triggered, EHP nerds. <laughs> but no, I'm doing this because... I uh, don't do herb runs enough, like I probably only do like 3 or 4 herb runs a day, and for herb lore to be more efficient than prayer, you have to be doing herb runs like all the time, so I'm just going to keep putting in an herb lore. I mean I kill a lot of dragons, so we should have 99 anyways. You know, I just completely forgot to talk about the rewards for the diary, I got so excited talking about prayer training. Um, we could teleport straight to the gem mine in Shiloh Village now, which is an amazing teleport because these are a great way to gather gems for making jewelry, especially bracelets of slaughter and expeditious bracelets, but it's also a teleport straight into Shiloh Village, which means that I can start getting tasks from Duradel, since it won't take me about 46 hours to get to him now. Yay. You know, I know it's not going to be an imbued heart or anything, but every time I get one of these, I gotta show it off, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that is just... Whew. That's just so nice. Hey, another strength level 91 strength. I could say thank you to Nightmare Zone for pretty much all that experience, because I gained like well over half a million strength XP, I think, at Nightmare Zone going for my Slayer Helmet, so thank you very much, AFK Scape. Almost out of charges on the good old Xerix Talisman, so I went and got another, and I actually did the Stone Chest method, uh, if you guys don't know what that is. I might be making a guide on it in the future, but basically, you go just south from the Farming Guild, go down here. Then go right here, and there's some stone chests you can thief from if you have, I think, 64 thieving. And uh, 1 in 300 chance to get this, 1 in 150 if you have the easy Kebos Diary done. So there's 114 more lizard man fangs. Only took me like 10 or 15 minutes to get one, so I like doing this way better than the lizard men, honestly. Here it comes, the ranger boots. Let's get it! Oh, two green dragon hide bodies. I bet if I could disassemble these into just normal... Dragonite, I could, you know, stitch some ranger boots together. I'm not going to start the ranger boot grind officially here, but I have started going to Puro Puro a little bit and getting Eclectic Imps uh, to do a couple medium clues because I've heard it's pretty decent. It's not that hard from what I've done so far, so we might actually go for a couple mediums here. Zami Page, oh my god, and a trimmed Addy Kite Shield. There goes my bank space, but uh, let's see if this is a unique Zami Page. That would be absolutely incredible. Let's check it. Come on, please. We've already got two Zami Pages, and... Oh my god, three Zami pages already? Oh my lord. We only need Zami page two and we'll have the finished book. That's pretty insane. Thank you very much, Donovan, for the Firelighters, you Shortbow, and Amulet of Power. Wow, buddy. That is <laughs> medium clue from a Dagonaut task, actually. And we got ourselves a white boater. Look at that fashion. Mm. I just turned all of our mithril bars into mithril dart tips. We got 21,000 of them now, which is just over 200k fletching XP waiting to be made. So next time I do some agility, these bad boys are getting turned into XP. Since we hit 72 mining recently, it is time to pay this absolutely thick individual right here. 100 of my beautiful golden nuggets to gain the ability to climb up this ladder, which... <laughs> Sounds silly, but the upper level is actually much better than mining on the lower level, as you can tell by the sheer amount of people up here. Holy moly, we are going to have to hop worlds. Yes, Hispori, die, die, mwahahaha. 
25 kill count, what are we going to get? Let's get ourselves a Celestra Seed. That's some free money in the future. I'm actually not complaining. Just one more farming level, actually. And we'll be able to plant this beautiful, beautiful thing. It's been four days. Got to check the kingdom. Let me know if you guys want to keep seeing me checking the kingdom. I mean, this one wasn't that exciting because it was only four days. But I came by to drop off the cash to refill the coffers. And I figured it's worth checking out. So it's over 100 tea clogs a day, which is really nice. I should probably get started on the construction grind soon. All right, listen, Neve, you used to be my bay. Konar, you were my bay for a little bit, but uh, I think it's time to end that relationship because Duradel has just given me gargoyles for the first time. 239 of those bad boys were 78 and a half Slayer, and we just got our first gargoyles task. Oh my god, I am so happy. All right, well, let's go collect our 12 billion gold and uh, have a good day. Oh my god, it's done. The Hardcore Iron Man PKing Pure is complete. We have the G-Mall. We can finally head out into the wilderness and spec some fools out. But actually, okay, all sarcasm aside, this is actually a huge drop for the account. As Settled would say, this changes everything. It says, when I go to Nightmare Zone to immune my points, and I get that power surge ability, I'm going to smack this thing on and be like, <laughs> it's time to kill our first boss. Actually, probably not. I'm too much of a pussy. But uh, there's a brittle key, which means we can kill the gargoyle boss whenever we want. And I think I just woke my son up. I feel pretty bad. Okay, so I am geared up with what is okay gear, I guess, for this situation. I've heard that this boss is terrible to do without the blowpipe, but we're going to give it a shot. Let us unlock the rooftop to the grotesque guardians and give them a shot. Um, I'm not going to like risk it too bad. If I think I'm about to die, I'm teleporting out. I am not risking that at all. Got a decent bit of food, some Sarah brews. All right, we're going to kick this boss's ass. Let's go. And there we go, my friends. We have killed the Gargoyle boss. Only took four minutes to kill these things. Oh my god. A uh, really good drop for the first kill. Wow, dragon dart tips. And four mushroom potatoes. Absolutely amazing. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done this, because now the granite dust is going to take up a bank space. Look at this dude right here. He seriously did not know that the Gargoyle superior could melee him. Finally, we can get our revenge on the Gargoyle Superior unless we get hit by the magic attack, and we're good. Smash that idiot and nab ourselves uh, some steel bars. That was worth it. That was very worth it. Let's go. Oh, our first Gargoyle task is finished. I wish it was longer. I wish the Gargoyle task would just never end because you get so much money. You get so much gold ore, which is going to help with smithing. I mean, look at this money. I only had 50 kills left on task after that Gargoyle boss kill, and we got almost 200k from that and 60 gold ores. I mean, this boss... I mean, this this task is just amazing. All right, his spory kill number 26. Thank God I have Chrono Seeds. Makes this thing grow so fast, just like I'm going to grow so fast when I eat my vegetables. There's the Hispori. Let's go. Medium clue content. Everybody's favorite. And we got, what is that? A Bandos Crozier. Let's see, do we have that already? Is this a unique? Oh, what, do we really already have a Bandos Crozier? It didn't deposit it because my bank is full. There we go. We're done with one of the weirdest grinds that there is on this entire game. Getting Shazian armor to kill lizard men. There's the tier 5 set completed. Let's throw it on and see how great it looks. Oh man, that is some fashion scape right there. If you can't tell already, I am planning on starting lizard man shamans pretty soon. We do need a few more pieces of gear and I really want to get the Kebos and Karend. Hard diary completed. The only thing standing in our way is 70 smithing, and we are 63, which is pretty close. And if I can somehow convince myself to do it, we could acquire a plus 5 boost. So I think I'm going to go level up my smithing a little bit. And there is one more thing I need to take care of, and that is getting a better ranged weapon. Not to diss the magic short bow, but I think a rune crossbow might be better. I'll look into it, but I can make a rune crossbow if I can get my hands on some rune limbs, which I think I can. There we go. Let me check exactly how many of these dragons we had to kill. Steel dragon. Nine of them. And we got the runite limbs, which means we can now make ourselves a rune crossbow. All we got to do is head back to the bank and get a U-log. There we go. We finished the homemade rune crossbow. My original plan was to go out in the wilderness and kill the crazy archaeologist for this 
this was a lot easier than risking the account in the wildy. Let's check it. Oh my god, that thing is sick. And I believe that what everybody does is they go and make broad bolts to use on this because the broad bolts are pretty decent and very easily obtainable. I will, of course, look into that. But now the only thing really, really getting between us and being able to do some lizard man shamans is the Karen and Kebbles hard diary. So I guess it's about time we go and spend all of our cash on gold ore and cry ourselves to sleep. Okay, here we are. We're starting out with a 1.75 mil cash stack. And to get to 66 uh, smithing, I will need to get at least 2,200 gold ores. Uh, this is going to be quite a hit to the cash stack, as you see here, starting off the gold ore. It costs 225 by one inventory, and it goes up by over 100 gold each. I ended up just buying up to 3,200 of them so that we can get to 67. So the boost is pretty likely to succeed, because you all know how much I love getting stews and we have 920k left over i actually expected to spend a lot more than this means we spent like 800 something thousand gold 880,000, i don't know math is hard but yeah i guess i'm about to turn all this into gold bars so since i do have some mithril ore from that gargoyles task i figure i might as well do it while i'm doing the gold so the method is just keep the coal bag on me uh, i transport coal over here with the gold and then uh, once I got enough coal in here, I switch over to making mithril bars. It's pretty damn efficient, actually, and I'm kind of proud of myself for this. As you guys know, I'm not the biggest fan of Blast Furnace, but this method is kind of fun. Time to finish up this little grind. Didn't take long at all, actually. Blast Furnace is so insanely fast with gold ore. It is disgusting. And you might be like, whoa, 68. Well, I actually ended up pretty close to 68 after I had finished all those mithril. So I went ahead and bought a bit more gold. It didn't even cost that much. We got our cash stack down to 700k. But yeah, there we are. We're done. 500 gold bars and five, our 5,000 gold bars, 500 mithril bars. Looking pretty sweet. And now we only need a plus two boost to get the diary done. So that's way easier. Okay, I've got a lot of orange spice. There's no way this fails. Did we get the smithing boost first try? No. Okay, now I'm really terrified. You know, this could go wrong. All of these could be bad. You know, they might just all... We got plus one. Okay, this is this is not good. This is why I don't like doing spicy stew boosting. It's just stupid. It's just stupid. How do we fail to get a plus two boost three times in a row with three spices? Come on, please. You've got to be joking me. Dude, I'm on the verge. I'm on the verge of quitting this game. This is not happening. Please? Please? Oh my god, it went down, and I didn't bring restore potions. Okay. Okay. I'm stressing out, man. Last one. Please, for the love of god, man. That drained by four. Are you fucking joking me? I'm about to just go blow all my money to get the level, dude. I hate this spicy stew. I will not back down. I will not be defeated. I got lots more stews to be made here. We got another plus one boost. That is unfortunate, but we will power through it because we got the boost we needed. Let's make that stupid bar. Let's get that stupid task done. And I've got a huge stupid smile on my face. Now we only have one task left in the diary, and that is to kill a lizard man shaman. So we need to get broad bolts for our uh, rune crossbow here, which means I'm going to have to drop 300 points on uh, unlocking the broader fletching, which is fine because I needed to do it eventually anyways because that's how I plan to get 99 fletching. But now I also need to drop 75 points to unlock Lizardmen, which is not too bad. It puts me down to 161 points, which is more than enough to skip. And I am almost on my 10th task, which, you know, I'll do a Konar and get like freaking 10 million points. So let's go buy some unfinished broad arrows, broad bolts, I mean, <laughs> and uh, see if we can make those into some bolts. Okay, no way. I did not know this, actually. I thought that you would click these and boom, it would come up with the make all menu, but nah. It works just like feathering dart tips. That is super interesting, actually. Well, means I'll be able to get them done faster, at least. I'm not complaining. Alright, here we are to kill the lizard men. Look at this beastly gear right here. It has been a while since I've killed a lizard man shaman outside of raids, so I don't really recall 100% how they work, but I'm pretty sure if I'm paying attention and I don't do something really dumb, I won't die, so... Don't quote me on that. That was admittedly ridiculously easy. And there we go. We've completed all the hard tasks in Karend and Kebos. I'm just going to finish up one more shaman kill this because this is actually kind of fun. And I'm going to get the Warhammer 2 kill count easy. Hey, Elise, girl, I finished all the hard tasks in my Karend and Kebos diaries. So a couple great things here. First off, 15,000 herb lore experience. The best thing about finishing any diary. Second off, we get a 5% increased yield from the Hosidius and Farming Guild herb patches, which will, you know, help a lot over time, obviously. 
and we can make our Slayer helmet act as a Shazian helmet after we go talk to this dude, which is the entire reason we did this whole diary, so let's go do it. Yo, Captain Cleave, my friend, can I use my Slayer helm instead of a Shazian helm? Yes, that is possible, however, I'll only show the required technique to those who have proven themselves a friend. Well, I've done it, man, so do it. He teaches me the technique, and we're all good now, so now we have a Slazian helm, as everyone's been calling it. And uh, now we can kill Lizardmen on task, which is going to be great. But I couldn't end the video like that because we are so close to a massive milestone here on the Hard Cryer Man. So let's slurp up 141 tiers. Thank you very much for 45 runecrafting and 1750 total on the Hard Cryer Man, which means we can access all those cool worlds and flex on all those dead Hard Cryer Man. But for real, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below and subscribe to see some more in the future. And in the next part, hopefully we're going to get some Lizardman, Shaman, Slayer tasks, and get a Dragon Warhammer. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.